Hey, welcome back. Michael I here. Last week, you know, we talked about the past client and the sphere of influence. People know you, like you, trust you, that will do business with you, that will help you to grow your business, right? And we also talking about what would, you know, your people that you know, your past client, your sphere of influence, right? It's an asset that will allow your business to grow, right? So, you know, you look at like big business in Seattle, you know, what are, where our headquarters of the ML companies. You look at like, you look at Costco, how many customers would come back to Costco on a monthly basis, right? How many time that client would come in back to Costco on an annual basis? The average, so in like another company like Starbucks, average customer of Starbucks coming back to the store to buy the product 19 times on an average. Right? 19 times a month on an average. So I'm asking you about your business. How if, if it access that allow your business to grow, how effectively you know that you work on your on your on your goal mind, on your access, right? On the scale of one to ten, right? So you know, come to our school. Come to ML University degree camp that we're gonna train you of how to do that. So contact us at the below phone number and email, and then you join that program. So today, this week, we're gonna talk about the continue to talk about this gold mine and this, and growing and building this asset, right? So determine on your database, right? The on your list what would be the highest number of referrals and then contact them on a monthly basis. So, you know, I wrote down here that you can see the create the A list and the B list, right? You know, for your database, right? So the, the A list, you know, so what is called the A list, right? You know, A, B, C, D, right? So what would be the A list that you, that this is the people that are gonna willing to help you, right? To grow your business, send you referral, right? That that they have, they they willing to help you, right? So, you know, like my past client customer, always asking them the question: Who do you know that would like to sell or to buy in the next, you know, ninety days that I can, you know, that I can help them and provide a service too, right? So, you know, talking to if you got the people and you got that list with you, right? So call that a list, right? Call that A list every 30 days, right? How about the people on the B list, right? People, well, you know, people say, oh, I know your business. I would help, you know, whenever I feel like to, you know, and, you know, could you, you got that people, you know, in your life, in your business that, uh, that you can look and say, this is the A list and this is the B list, right? So call the, call the A list every 30 days, right? And ask for referral, right? So, and then what about the people on a B list? Call every 90 days, right? But, you know, put everybody on the uh, system that send valuable information on a regular basis, right? And, you know, let the people know that, you know, they are on the A list, right? That you, that, that they are on the A list. And then, you know, contact them on a regular basis. You know, I wrote down here that, yes, you know, when you do a transaction, right? So, you know, I remember, you know, when I started in the business, cause I didn't know a soul in, in, the, in Seattle, Washington, U.S., you know, so I go with the people I don't know, because there are only two types of people that I know, right? People that I know, people I don't know. So which group you think would be the larger group, right? Of course, people that I don't know, right? But it's harder to work with people that you don't know, and they don't know you either. They don't lie to you, they don't trust you. So that's another technique and strategy that will be shared with you. I'm talking today, I'm talking about people that you know, right? Your sphere of influence, right? So you can always work and adapt the other side and add them into your database, right? So when you when you do a transaction with the client, right? Add the, ref, you know, add the client for the referral while they doing the business with you. And instead of waiting for the transaction to close, this is when you have the higher level of relationship to working with them and the higher interest 
you know, in this good the business with you, right? So when you have the most, think about this one, right? You you break into the three category. Number one, it's a before process and the during process and after process, right? So get when do you think you have the most communication with your client? It's a during process, right? During the time that you're helping them, you know, we, you know, uh, you know, we doing we doing business with the client one why we're serving them we have the most communication with them and you try to do your best you know to help your client and that therefore when you have the most communication you try to do your best job for the customer ask them for the referral ask them for the feedback right so if they happy with you and your service and the trans transaction goes smoothly right uh, ask for the service why you can right but you know, after the closing, that would be the after. You know, think about the what would be the what would be the process for you to build the business with the existing customer that you have, and you know, and 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 ask for refer when you can, right? So, so the net point I wrote down here, yes, you know, when you talk into your goal mind, you talk into your asset, you talk that means you talk into your client your past client, you know, your sphere of influence, right? Always bring in the value to the call, right? And you plan your call effectively, you know? You plan your call effectively. I understand that, you know, there's so many things that are going on, but, you know, be very specific, right? Focus on great service, like premier service that you're providing your client, right? And you earn that referral and add for the referral, right? But when you call and add for the refer you know bring the value to the call right bring the value to the call and so you know so the so what would be the value for the call that I, that I wrote down here that the you know uh, determine you know what would be the theme for your call based on what happening in the marketplace you know if you for example King County Washington USA right home price gone up by 10 14 percent you know annually right this year, for example, right? So if you have a customer that have a rental home, you know, you know, what can you bring the value for for that customer, right? In terms of how about that you providing the uh, the value report for that customer, for example, right? So rental property, for example, you know, uh, with what going on with mo with the monitorium with COVID. You know, with with all of this issue that going on, can you really bring some value in terms of you know where are we at, you know, with legal right in between landlord and tenant? So something that you can provide a value. I'm I'm pretty sure as a professional like you, you know, you always plan ahead for your call, right? For what you're gonna send to your customer, right? And then add for the refer, right? You know. You know, bring value to the call, make your phone call, your communication with your client more fun and create a better communication, right? So, um, thing that I wrote down here that if you, if you cannot be able to reach your, you know, your sphere of influence, you can leave them a message, right? You know, phone call is really important, right? And let them know, let them know that you're thinking of them. All right, let them know that you're thinking of them. You know, so I'm a developer. I do a lot of um, funding and investment work, right? But you know, so a lot of the customer, you know, sometimes I haven't talked to them for a while. It's for me to call them back and say, hey, you know, I'm so sorry. You know, we, I'm not gonna be able to call you for a while, right? So, you know, you know, any way that you can, you know, reconnect, you know, communication with your client. Because remember, what I share with you from the past client and sphere, sphere of influence, right? They are your goal mine. They are the asset that will help you to grow your business. You know, so, you know, we teach this guy a business building at ML University degree camp. So, you know, contact our, contact our office if you want to participate in this great program. And with that, you guys, you know, uh, thanks for today. Uh, taking the time from your you know schedule and listen to this message you know if you subscribe for the program go ahead and do that and you know come to our MLU degree camp training 
and you know we're happy to help you you know to grow your business um, so with that you know uh, have a great one and until next time